Well, at the top of Alley's News, uh, you heard about that training accident that killed on Monday night seven brave Marines out in Hawthorne, Nevada. Extraordinarily, yesterday, on the floor of the U.S. Senate, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid suggested that the accident was caused by the sequester. Listen. One of the things that sequester is we cut back in training and maintenance. That's the way sequester was written. These men and women, our Marines, were training there in Hawthorne. And with the sequester, it's going to cut the stuff back. And um, I, just, I just hope everyone understands. So he's suggesting that the Marines are sending out uh, men and women to do these exercises without being properly trained. That is not true. Uh, and by the way, if you don't like the way it was written, tell the president. Uh, he wrote yeah. it. Uh, number two is, uh, that is extremely insulting. And uh, can you imagine being a family member? Yes, seven, of, seven people died because of a quest, uh, sequester. Now we find out the investigation reveals that had nothing to do with it. Meanwhile, the uh, military community is reacting, one of which is Colonel Allen West. He's looking at his email and people contacting him and said this yesterday. Not only has he offended the United States Marine Corps and these families who lost their loved ones, he is also a hypocrite when you think about what he said just May of last year. So I don't see this as a clumsy thing. I see this as a deliberate thing that he has said, much the same as when he accused Mitt Romney of certain things from the Senate floor. Harry Reid has to be called responsible for the statements that he made. And as I said, he needs to go over to the Marine barracks at 8th and I before formation of Marines, standing with the Commandant, and give an apology, and not just have some spokespeople from his office do it. That's cowardly. But, but let's be clear. Harry Reid did not say it was because of the sequester. What he did on the floor was he linked the two. He, right. he right. linked them. He didn't say it was because of the sequester that this terrible tragedy happened. He was talking about the tragedy, and then he just segued in his own head and verbally to talking about the sequester and about how we have to be careful about the sequester. So Harry Reid does this a lot, by the way. I mean, right. no, his it, spokespeople are forever apologizing right. about and, the clumsy and things that he says. His, his people have tried to walk it back. And they suggested the same thing you have. But when you listen to it, where, you know, there are these dead uh, Marines and the sequester, he clearly has linked it. it Whether he wanted to yeah. or not, he linked Fair it. Enough. And it's yeah. wrong. And not only should he apologize to the Marines, he should apologize to the families of all the Marines as well. Well, to listen to this, uh, a Marine Corps spokesperson speaking to NBC said uh, that the Marine Corps told us that uh, a short time ago that he is... This is considered nothing but pure political posturing on the backs of these dead Marines. So that's the interpretation, which means he should scramble forward and, uh, uh, and offer a further interpretation of what his comments actually meant. His spokesperson did come forward. Um, and by the way, she should be paid hardship duty because she is always having to explain some of Harry Reid's confusing statements. Uh, the idea, here's the quote. The idea that Senator Reid thinks the Hawthorne tragedy has anything to do with the sequester is absurd and unsubstantiated by his remarks on the topics. Marines would not be forced to operate under unsafe conditions due to budget cuts. Of course not. Uh, despicable. Uh, meanwhile, let's talk a little bit about